let's go over to 11, my apologies. Luke 11. And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased or when he stopped, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples. And he said unto them, when you pray, say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven, so in earth. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. And he said unto them, Which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, Friend, let me three loaves for a friend of mine in his journey is come to me and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, the door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because he is he is his friend, yet because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needed. And I say unto you, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth unto him that knocketh it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will you give him a stone? If he ask for fish, Will you give him a serpent? Or if he asks for an egg, will you give him a scorpion? If you then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to him or to them that ask of him? So saith the word of God. And the people say amen. 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 Uh, as we look at the highlights from that passage, there are a few things that I want to bring to your attention. Of course, the highlights from that text, the teacher, the lesson, the model, the analogy, the perseverance, the mnemonic, the conclusion. Uh, I, 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 I think I'm just going to get through part one today and I will continue this next week with the Lord Tarrys. The teacher, he was praying in a certain place. The lesson, Lord, is how to pray. The model when you pray, pray after this manner, oh Father. The analogy of one friend coming unto another. The perseverance, yet because of his importunity. The demonic ask A, S, and K. And the conclusion, if you then being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask of Him. Praise He the Lord. Prayer is a necessity, ladies and gentlemen. It is important for the believer to pray. For the new life in Christ, prayer is as essential as breathing. And to not pray results in a weakness and ultimately death. When the believer does not pray, it results in weakness and ultimately death. It is not just important that we pray, but it is detrimental if we don't. I want you to stay with me. It is important that as Christians, we understand how to pray. The method, the meaning, and the benefits of praying. Somebody say amen. amen. Come on, shout amen. amen. For the new life is like as a baby. The, the baby, when it comes out of the womb, the first thing the baby does is crying. We have to learn how to cry unto the Lord. We have to learn how to communicate. We have to, communication is key. So it is paramount. It's not just important to do it, but it is detrimental not to. Somebody shout amen. amen. Praise God. So the question then is, what is purpose? What is prayer? Prayer is a 
solemn request to God for help. A youth of me crying out to God and expression of thanksgiving as is expressed to him. But you are communicating. It's communication between the creature and the creator. We are talking to God. But it is not just limited. It, yes, it includes, but it's not limited to words and gestures and form and eloquence. It includes all of that, but it's not simply limited to just words. When we come before God, we are not just merely repeating words in prayer. We are not just babbling, but we are not just babbling. And it's not about eloquence uh, or, or verbosity. It, it is prayer comes from a deep place. It is a deep matter of the heart. It is Charles Spurgeon who said, and I quote, the heart of prayer is the prayer is prayer from the heart. Again, let me say that. The heart of prayer is the prayer from the heart. You have to pray from a deep place, from a true place, from a sincere place. When you go before God, it's coming from way down beneath that chest.
what some of the things you desire when you pray. Believe that you receive them and you will have them. Believe that you believe. Believe. Believing is important when you pray. Believe that you receive them and you will have them. So, so having them is predicated upon you believing. So you will receive as much as you believe. <laughs> Hallelujah. You will receive as much as you believe. It is important then that we believe. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you desire, when the person you desire, but when we pray this oftentimes as believers, and sometimes when we go, we've got to be careful, we've got to be caution in these texts to understand. What, what? It is important that the believer understands this. What sort of things you want, you will receive it. Uh, uh, not, not, just, but understand that that desire must be in alignment with the will of God. That desire must be in alignment with the will of God. That's why some people walk away in frustration. Oh, oh what Matthew 11, 24 says, whatever I ask, I will receive. I've been asking a long time for help, and I don't get it. I've been asking for a husband a long time, and I don't get it. I've been asking for this, and I don't get it. But the question then is, he is indeed alignment with the will of God for your life. Yes, yeah, you better be, be so sure. You better know this with uh, with, with surety that <laughs> it's not everything that you want is good for you. Oh, nobody saying nothing. Ain't nobody saying nothing. <laughs> So if you're a parent, you'll understand this when your children come to you. It's not everything that they want is absolutely important and it's necessary for them. As a matter of fact, some things you know is not good for them. John 14, verse 13, and whatsoever you ask in my name, then that's where the trick is. It's in my name that you're operating. A name there means authority. It's within the domains, the confines of my own, my, my, my authority. That will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, in my name, I will do it. That part is important. You're not just asking for yourself. It's not a selfish request. Praise God. But when you go in prayer, you have to pray and ask God, uh, hallelujah, in his name. And make sure that your request is in alignment with the scriptures. It's, it's, so there's a call from, for us to pray. And if there's ever a time that we need to pray, the time is now. Amen. We must understand the how of the method and the meaning and the benefits of prayer. One of the most important things I believe that the Lord gave me in the sermon is, is this slide. As an example, I believe this is the most important thing. This, this thought been driving me. This thought been driving me here. And I, and I hope to God that this will do the same kind of work in your spirit that it has been doing in me now over two weeks. Believers should pray to Jesus. But the true challenge for the believer is for that believer to pray like Jesus. How often he prayed, how long he prayed, and the passion and sincerity with which he prayed. So I believe that we get there, we have to pray to Jesus for. I think we do get that part. No, 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 we do in here praise, praise to an image. None of us in here praise to ourselves. None of us in here praise to uh, 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 Mary. 
the mother of God. We don't pray to Mary. We don't pray to Joseph. We don't pray to any other God but Jesus and Him crucified. When we pray, we pray to Jesus. So we understand that mother way with clarity that when we pray, we pray. But I am convinced that that is not the true challenge of the believer. The true challenge of the believer is not just to pray to Jesus, but to pray like Jesus.
is operating in it. No, 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 don't miss it. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. As the flesh is of no use except that God is operating in it. That's where the that, that's where God gave the devil a knockout. Because he did not understand the, 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 the mystery of the godliness. For it's a For praying is the mystery of godliness. For God was in Christ. The spirit was deposited. Who shall heaven came down into humanity? The celestial came down and was deposited in the terrestrial. It was God in Christ. As such we behold. Manifestation of the living God. Shalom.
as he was alone praying, his disciples were with him, and he asked them, saying, Who do men say that I am? <laughs> he, he was alone and praying, man. Let, let me address two things here before I get to what I, what I consider to be one of the most fundamental questions of all times. Let me first talk about the alone. Let's first talk about the alone. Somebody said, come in 
of Jesus. So I said, come in the name of Jesus. Come into the trouble with me. Come into tomorrow with me. How many of you hate Mondays? Come to work with me, Jesus. Shamahakaya Kushamaha. Come into the force with me, Jesus. Come into my situation with me. You don't have to come out.
there is no words. There are no words that are coming from the lips. <laughs> And if you're not careful, the onlooker will misinterpret and as such misrepresent what you're faced with. Because Eli missed it. Yes. Eli said, My God, it's too early to be drunken. Mm. She said, No man of God. I'm not drunken. I'm a woman of a sorrowful spirit. I am praying to God out of the deep place. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm just praying to God from a deep place. I want to pray with you. When you were praying, I was back there in the city office for now. And I want both of you to come. I hear God said to me, I'm birthing giftings. I am a high God says, I'm birthing giftings. As he began to pray, I heard the Lord said to me, anoint her and release her to pray. When you begin, I want you to know that the Lord is calling you to be a mouthpiece, to be set apart. All of you, but the Lord has, the Lord spoke your name. The Lord says, breathe upon them. Just lay your hand upon them and stand in agreement with what I am doing in them in this church. God says, I am a bishop. I'm calling you and setting you apart. I'm setting you apart to pray. And when you open your mouth, demons will tremble. I'm, I'm loosing you to pray. And when you will begin to pray, chains will and when you will begin to pray, the foundations of hell will begin to tremble. When you begin to pray, I'm going to do some things. When you speak, I'm going to allow you to speak and to come in alignment with what my will is so that it will be established in this place. I heard it.
Yes, Lord. Somebody worship with them. Come on, somebody worship with them. Somebody worship with them. Somebody worship with them. Somebody worship with them. Yeah, somebody worship with them. Somebody worship them. Oh, yeah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Hallelujah. 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 I want to connect with some people just to just labor to your feet with me. Yes, I'm done. I'm done until next week. And I'm done until next week. Just labor with me to your feet. And if you can, just let's, let's just let's just worship Him. There's a sweet presence of the Holy Ghost in this room. There's a sweet presence. Somebody loose your lips, loose your heart. There's a sweet presence of the Almighty God in this room. Come on. Somebody begin to worship. If I've been lifted up from this earth, we're going home. But come on, loose your lips and, and begin to worship God now. Loose your lips and begin to worship Him now. He's, he's here. He's here. Break your alabaster box. Break it. Break it, sir. Break it now. Break it and let the sweet fragrance of your worship come up before Almighty God. Yes. Pray the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. Prophesy the Holy Ghost. Woman of God, prophesy. Son of man, speak as the Spirit of God to the government. Speak in the Holy Ghost. Speak the same, the word of Almighty God. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Yeah.